With this first problem, we have a velocity graph where velocity is measured in meters per second. Um, and there's a car traveling on a straight road from 0 to 24 seconds. And the velocity measured in meters per second is modeled by the piecewise linear function defined by the graph above. The first thing we're asked for is to find the integral from 0 to 24 of v of t dt. Now we could actually calculate the um, the piecewise function for velocity and then to be able to evaluate this integral using algebraic methods but it's just as easy to evaluate it using geometric shapes and since that area is a is the area of a trapezoid it would be h over 2 times b1 plus b2 and in this case the height is 20 Base 1 is 24, and base 2 is 16 minus 4, which is 12. And that comes out to be 10 times 36, or 360 meters in this case. Remember, if we're multiplying meters per second times seconds, we're going to get meters as the product, which would be the area in this case. Now, next we're asked to explain the meaning of this. And it turns out to be the distance traveled by the car in the first 24 seconds. We could also say that this is di displacement or the change in position of the car in the first 24 seconds. Uh, because all of the, uh, the velocity is positive over this whole interval, it means that displacement and, and distance travel will be the same here. For part B, we want to find v prime of 4 and v prime of 20. v prime of 4 will be the slope of the velocity curve when t is equal to 4. And obviously, you see there is a sharp turn, so that will not exist. Now, you can say that it's a sharp turn. Technically, the way we talk about differentiability at a point is to use the following. We say that the limit as t approaches 4 from the left of v of t minus v of 4 divided by t minus 4, and that happens to be the derivative, the slope of the tangent line as we approach from the left, as we approach 4 from the left. But that is not equal to the limit as t approaches 4 from the right of v of t minus v of 4 over t minus 4. So that's the mathematical reason for why the derivative does not exist at 4. At t equals 20, the derivative there would be the slope of that line segment from t equals 16 to t equals 24. The change in y would be 0 minus 20. That's the change in v would be 0 minus 20. And the change in t would be 24 minus 16, which comes out to be negative 5 over 2. For part c, we're asked to let a of t be the car's acceleration at time t in meters per second per second, and for 0 to 24, write a piecewise defined function for a of t. And we've done most of this already, or we've done some of it already. So basically, acceleration is the derivative of velocity, or the slope of the velocity curve. And we need the slope of the first of the three line segments there. And from 0 to 4, the slope is going to be change in velocity of 20, change in time of 4, so that would be 20 over 4, which is 5. On the second line segment, we can see clearly that the slope is 0, and that is from 4 to 16. And the third line segment we've done already, from 16 to 24, that has a slope of negative 5 halves. In part D, we want to find the average rate of change of v over the interval from 8 to 20. And that's just the slope of the tangent line connecting four, uh, 8 comma 20 and 20 comma 10. So we'll say the average rate of change is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time, which is 10 minus 20 over 20 minus 8. And that happens to be negative 5 sixths. Next, we're asked to, to determine whether the mean value theorem guarantees a value of c between 8 and 20, such that v prime of c is equal to this average rate of change. We say that the mean value theorem does not apply because v of t is not differentiable for all t between 8 and 20, which is a requirement of the mean value theorem.